Hello Math Typers! Welcome to the second video in a series of four Math Type tutorial videos. In this tutorial, we'll create this simple equation. Well, okay, depending on the specific math you may see every day, this equation may not look all that simple. If not, that's okay. Just please follow along anyway because I assure you the concepts we'll see in this video are indeed simple and they're important for creating any level of math with Math Type. As always, anytime you run into trouble with math type or face a troublesome issue, check the documentation and if you can't find an answer, we'll be glad to help if you'll write our support team at the address shown here. Remember the equation began with the tangent function, abbreviated T-A-N. Let's type that. Notice as I type the T and the A, they're italic symbols. That's the standard in mathematics typesetting for variables to be rendered in italic type. At this point, MathType has no way of knowing we're not typing the variable t followed by the variable a, so it renders them in italics as it would any variable. As I type the n, though, notice the three letters are now rendered in Roman, that is non-italic, type. That's standard for function names and abbreviations such as tangent, log, max, limit, etc. Now we need the Greek letter theta. Notice the fourth tab from the left has two Greek letters on it, so that's where we'll find theta. Click it to insert it into the equation. Now type equals from the keyboard, not the math type toolbar, and then we return to the general tab, which is the first tab on the left, and in the middle, we'll find plus minus and insert that into the equation. The next thing we need is a fraction, and you see a fraction template there on the general tab, but let's consider something else first. MathType has an auto format feature that does what the name suggests. It automatically formats some symbols and some templates based on the things you type and when you type them. We've seen some characteristics of auto format already when we typed the tangent function. Other auto format characteristics may or may not be enabled by your admin, so this may or may not apply to your installation of MathType. At this point in our equation, we're needing a fraction, and fractions are something auto format is able to manage, but only in certain cases. As an example, for the fraction 1 half, I can type 1, followed by the slash symbol. Notice when I type the slash, you never see the slash. It's replaced with a fraction, with the 1 already in the numerator. MathType has placed the insertion point in the denominator, ready for you to type. Fractions like that are easy for MathType to interpret and know what you want. What if I want something like x plus 1 over x minus 1, though? You can see the result, which isn't what we wanted because MathType had no way of knowing whether we wanted x plus 1 over x minus 1 or x plus the quantity 1 over x minus 1. If I had already typed x plus 1, though, there's no need to delete it and retype it. I could select x plus 1, then either type the slash symbol on the keyboard or Click the fraction template in MathType's toolbar. Now we're ready to type the rational expression in our equation and we'll do it without auto format, but you can see that can be a very useful feature when you need it and when it applies to the equation you're typing. We need to add the superscript 2 to cosine and that's something we'll do with auto format. To do that, type the caret symbol, which on the US keyboard is above the 6, on keyboards other than U.S. English, the symbol is likely located elsewhere, but just make sure it's the caret symbol you use. We'll press the right arrow key to exit the superscript, but remain inside the radicand. Now insert theta as you did before. Press the down arrow on the keyboard to move into the denominator, and then type cosine theta. We're finished with this equation, so I'll click insert to insert it into the page I was editing. That's it for now. We hope this tutorial has been useful to you and that you'll continue with our other tutorial videos. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified of new videos. Happy math typing!